Forget the results, forget the scale. Focus on consistency. Focus on consistent actions day in and day out because when you do that, your OMAD results will come. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diella Joy and I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. All OMAD is for me is eating all of your calories within a four hour eating window or less instead of eating your calories throughout the day. Why? The benefits to doing this is that you help put your body in a state of fat burning throughout the fasting for 20 hours or more during the day. Because when you fast for that long, your body makes that metabolic switch, makes that metabolic switch from burning glucose and glycogen as a source for fuel into burning fat as a source for fuel. So in today's video, I am going to talk about the importance of consistency and how you can maintain consistency on a one meal a day fasting schedule. These tips will apply to multiple things. It doesn't matter what diet you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're doing in general. But the key to consistency is this repetition. You want your days to look very similar in terms of what you're eating. First thing in the morning, you should be having tons of water and tons of electrolytes. You need to make sure you get in your sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Electrolytes are crucial while eating a one meal a day fasting schedule or just eating in general in a calorie deficit because as you are losing weight, you are gonna drop tons of water. And as you drop tons of water, you're gonna drop electrolytes. And you don't wanna put yourself in a situation where your electrolytes are low, because when you do that, uh, it's not gonna be good. Trust me, I've been there. You're gonna get all sorts of symptoms like muscle cramps, headaches, fatigue. So it's important that you make sure you get in your electrolytes daily to avoid those things. Plus, when you have electrolytes while fasting, it helps boost your energy. It also helps keep the hunger at bay. It helps to crush your hunger. Also, another thing I should note, when you do eat your one meal a day, please make sure you ensure that you put sodium salt and potassium salt on your food. Why? Because putting salt on your food is the best way for your body to retain salt. Your body will retain salt better with food than it will with drinking. However, that does not mean that you neglect not drinking your electrolytes first thing in the morning and perhaps right before you exercise. Another thing that helps with consistency with one meal a day is learning the hunger crushing hacks. So things like apple cider vinegar, lemon water. Yes, you can have lemon water. Please ensure that you squeeze the lemons yourself. I don't recommend buying store-bought because store-bought will be full of all sorts of chemicals. We want to make sure we are keeping the fast clean. Clean, 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 clean. So Things like cayenne pepper is a great tool. Pickle juice is a great tool. Please make sure the pickle juice that you're getting your, your, you know, the juice that you're getting from your pickles is coming from pickles that are not jerkin pickles because jerkin pickles have sugar. You want to avoid sugar while fasting because the point of fasting is keeping your body at a low blood sugar state and keeping your body in autophagy, depending on what kind of fast you're doing, which brings me to coffee. Coffee will keep you in a ketone fast, but it may knock you out of autophagy. Either way, being in a ketone fast means that you're producing ketones, and the process of producing ketones is the process of burning fat. If fat is your focus or losing fat is your focus, that is fine. Autophagy is important to help heal your body, heal your mitochondria, heal your cells, let your cells, you know, get rid of damaged organelles so it can function properly. So what happens a lot on people's weight loss journey, they have a lot, a difficult time sticking to their calories. They have a difficult time eating less and they have a difficult time with energy and whatnot. And the reason why that is happening is because the mitochondria is damaged. OMAD fasting, fasting in general, helps to repair this. It may be a bit controversial, but the science is coming 
out. So we're learning more and more about why people are struggling with obesity at epidemic levels. And the key to that is restoring that mitochondria so you can keep those blood sugar levels low. Well, it's actually the reverse. When you keep those blood sugar levels low, it helps reduce the stress you have on the mitochondria. And those blood sugar spikes is what causes havoc. Havoc on the mitochondria, havoc on your mental health, and havoc on your overall hormonal system. So going back to one meal a day and consistency, you wanna make sure you're having those hunger hacking things. Um, another hunger hacking tool that I really like is sparkling water. Another thing, you wanna work out relatively at the same time daily. If you wanna help crush your hunger even further, it's recommended that you work out two to three hours before breaking your fast. However, if you work out in the morning, it's fine. If you work out after you eat or within your eating window, it's fine. Just do whatever is easier for you and that will fit into your day-to-day -day schedule. The key is you gotta make OMAD work for you. Everything I throw out here is just like, you know, a starting point for people. However, you want to make it work for you. Number, the next one I want to jump into is eating your meal in the evening. Again, what I just reiter reiterated, it is important to make OMAD work for you. But for the majority of people, it is best to have your meal two to three hours before bed. You want to be having your meal at the same time daily, give or take, plus or minus an hour or two. You want to keep that consistency. You want to keep that routine. Why? Because when you have a routine, your brain kind of imprints it into a habit and that habit just becomes automatic and it becomes weight loss with OMAD becomes an absolute joke because you're in such a routine. You want to change the program in your head to make sure you're geared towards being consistent with your OMAD regime. So yes, you want to make sure you are eating at the same time in the evening. Another thing, if you're going to weigh yourself daily, I highly recommend weighing yourself at the same time every day. The best time usually for most of the time is weighing yourself right before you break your fast, withhold water. But another consistent time is when you wake up first time, thing in the morning. If you are consistent with the time that you're ending your fast, because if you eat a little late, it might mess up with the scale. So there is that. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. I hope it's going to help you out on your one meal a day weight loss journey. If you made it this far into the video, just type in the word results because that's what we want to get, but we're focusing on consistency. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as I upload videos frequently. I do live streams on tips and tricks on how to help you lose weight with OMAD, with keto, and the entire metabolic switch. And I'm sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.